Alright, sub guys, done is here. So I don't even know if I'm filming myself or not right now, but um, I'm just looking at the camera. I don't have, um, it's not in like selfie mode or whatever. And I'm just free holding the um, phone at the moment. Um, so I've had this weird sort of <clears throat> throat sensation, discomfort for the past almost two weeks now. Um, I've had COVID swabs and stuff like that, so I've been negative. I haven't essentially felt unwell. Um, I just when I swallow, I got this. It feels a bit better now, but um, I was having this excruciating sort of pain on the right side of my throat, um, just on the inside there. Um, but then I was also getting this um, tenderness through my throat there. Um, and a couple of things which popped into my mind um, was an abscess. Um, sort of in my epiglottis sort of region or something like that um, on that right side so every time I swallow it was sort of rubbing on it um, tonsillitis but I've never had tonsillitis before in my life so it was a bit weird to have that type of sensation um, another thing I guess potential was a an ulcer because um, I had been getting um, this weird refluxy thing but that was more in my epigastric sort of chest area um, didn't get any higher didn't go into my throat or anything like that so I thought I could kind of rule that out and then I wasn't sure what else it could be so um, you know just with my own knowledge and stuff like that um, I decided to ask my old mate uh, Dr. Google um, and of course it comes up with the worst case scenario so I thought I should get it checked out and um, it's been really hard to try and see a GP uh, general practitioner, your know, general family doctor type of thing. Um, during this uh, pandemic, uh, no one wants to see you. Um, they wanted to have a, a phone consult with me before I go to see them. Um, even though I explained to them that you know I don't have a you know, my COVID swaps were all negative, and that was you know done 48 hours ago. Um, haven't been anywhere funky, haven't been around anyone or anything like that, and it's been going on for two weeks. And I have been around other people, and no one is unwell. And they've also had COVID tests, not because of me, but because they've been in close proximity of other people who have had uh, COVID. So um, it makes things really tough on the community where, you know, they can't even see a GP if they've got tonsillitis or something like that. Um, it's, yeah, I can see, see and understand why our hospital systems are becoming burdened right now. And um, yeah, it's it's just crazy and nuts. You know, it's... Um, <clears throat> What I want to, I guess, keep going on about is um, during this weird sensation with my neck, throat, um, still been doing my pull-ups, still been doing my push-ups as um, I um, mentioned in my previous videos when I commenced my push-ups. I've uh, already finished my pull-ups for tonight um, and I haven't finished my uh, push-ups as yet. I've got 20 push-ups to go. I'm just trying to take my push-ups quite easy because I haven't done a lot of push-ups um, over the past or push-ups or you know chest exercise for the past couple of weeks or past month um, since not going to the gym so that's um, something I just need to gradually work back into so I don't get any DOMS or anything like that uh, DOMS equals delayed onset muscle soreness nothing scientific but it's something you get um, if you uh, haven't trained for a while if you do an exercise in a different manner or way um, and generally if you do a bit of a um, on your eccentric so your, your going down motion um, is quite slow um, it causes extra micro tears and um, causes you know that delayed onset muscle soreness so your body's just repairing itself um, doesn't mean essentially that you've done you've worked harder than you would have if you don't have uh, DOMS um, it's just uh, your, your body just doing stuff um, which is slightly different to what it normally would Anyways, uh, check out the vid, check out my pull-ups, uh, I'm in my PJs because I've showered already so I don't want to overexert myself once again um, and I'll explain something which mildly frustrated and confused me tonight as well. Peace. Anyways, what do you think about my beard? Do you reckon I should keep it or get rid of it? I don't know. Anyways, it's not huge or it's just it's more like a, um, I haven't shaved in a couple of days type of thing but you know I'm Asian and I don't... Uh, well, not a lot of Asians grow a lot of facial hair, so it's kind of cool. Um, anyways, 
back to this. Um, I actually set out to do a maximal effort tonight um, with my pull-ups here. And my first 10, I was like, oh yeah, I've got this. But I got a little bit confused with how I wanted to put my hand placement uh, with my thumbs in or thumbs over. I was watching um, this YouTube clip um, the other day and these guys who were doing pull-ups, they were insane. And they were, they were just going on a regular grip, not a monkey grip or anything like that. And I busted out 40 with no problems. These are like hardcore calisthenics guys. Um, I'm not a hardcore calisthenic guy. Um, so that's probably why they did it. They, they just know their grip, they know what they're doing. Um, and I generally don't do a, a full grip, I usually um, use a monkey grip. Um, and, and I only got up to um, 20 before I wanted to go single arm and um, do more. And I thought, yeah, I'll do 20, do my single arm, um, dead hang to um, five at a time. But I only managed to do five and I was, I felt a bit over pumped and um, sore like it didn't feel right so I had to stop um, I couldn't I felt as though if I did any more it I wouldn't have got many out um, the other thing to throw into play I guess is um, I feel really hot at the moment not the fact that I'm unwell or, or um, you know that I've got a fever uh, with this weird throat sensation but more so um, just the house is a little bit stuffy and um, I just had a shower um, I would have thought that having a shower my body would be warmed up and I'd be able to pump out more um, you know reps and stuff like that but that definitely was not the case being warmed up is one thing and that's a muscular warm up a warm, muscular warm up um, your muscles warmed up as well as your joints warmed up um, having a shower doesn't necessarily do that in a way um, of preparedness uh, for exercise I don't think um, I probably needed something cold to shock me um, because the warmth probably calmed me down and relaxed me a little bit too much um, and I feel as though I was underperforming essentially um, from from you know that uh, first set there. Now as for what I'll throw in um, this week is my last week of annual leave so I'll be going back to work on Monday um, see how we go um, yeah it, it'll be interesting going back to work and um, not going into the office and so forth but uh, we'll see anyways uh, that's it for now um, FYI I did have a golden gay time before um, doing my last set and it was delicious golden gay time is an ice cream covered in sort of cookie dough and um, chocolate and it, it's divine google it that's all guys peace out